Pie Shop, Rob from Woodsley Summercraft here. Today is a pretty exciting day because I've received a parcel in the mail from King Industrial. Ted from King Industrial was kind enough to send me a brand new lathe. It's a new product that they've just released. It's a 12 by 13 pen turners lathe, but I think it will surprise you the capabilities of what it can do. Um, I'm going to do a review on it today and uh, what I'm going to be doing over the course of the next few months is get ready to give it away. I'm going to be posting it out to one lucky person but it has to be somebody in Canada. Um, I hope that you like this and I hope that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications of when I do future videos. Um, this lathe is going to be coming to one of you guys. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to bring you in and we're going to get this box opened. And we'll score the tape. Let's see what's inside. First thing I see is a set of instructions, the instruction manual. And it's packaged very well in styrofoam. Now I will be packaging it back in the styrofoam to send it out. Inside here it's in a plastic bag to keep the moisture away. And there it is, the tool post, the handles, there's a smaller tool post, and some other hardware, and some tools and such. And what we'll do now is we'll get this pulled out and set up on the table so we can take a closer look at it. Okay, so here it is out of the box. Um, the various bags had different components for it. Um, We've got the live center and the spur drive and the uh, tool rests and the levers and a face plate and some tools. So the first thing I can tell you is that the cord is a generous seven feet long. It comes with an instruction manual which is going to describe every part, every component of the lathe. There is an on off switch and it has this safety piece that you can actually take off so now the lathe cannot be turned on without that. A lot of tools have that feature, you can put it somewhere safe. It has the variable speed frequency dial there. And the speed is anywhere from 750 RPMs up to 3200 RPMs. The motor is a one third horse motor. The headstock has got a one inch by eight TPI thread. So you can put a standard chuck on that. It has a Morse one taper in both the head and tail stock. And it comes with the spur drive and a live center. It has a headstock handle as well as a tailstock handle and this draws out approximately one and nine eighths. So it doesn't have a lot of travel but you don't really need a lot of travel on a small lathe like this. This is the banjo which comes with two tool rests. So it's great for doing pens and small items but it's not just for doing pens, you can do lots with this. You can even do up to an 8 inch bowl, either using the face plate or get yourself a standard chuck and you can mount a chuck on this. It comes with a push rod which can eject the life center from the tailstock and the spur drive from the headstock. And then of course you can put your face plate on which is I think it's five and a quarter inches yes five and a quarter inch face plate which will accommodate eight screws to hold the piece of wood on so now you've seen it what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of small projects on it okay so I have this piece of maple mounted on the lathe it's a scrap from a previous project that was uh, parted off and basically I'm going to make a tea light with this it's a glass from a uh, light fixture
I've now got that piece of wood mounted onto the chuck. What I'll do is I'll give it one really slight pass over just to make sure that this is true to the lathe again now that I've got it remounted. That's all it really needs. All right, we'll get some sanding done on this and get it turned around. I think actually I might do a couple of detail lines. Okay, so I've turned the back side of this six inch bowl and what I intend to do is to dye the outside with Hampshire Sheen Intrinsic Dyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cover up the lathe bed with some plastic and then take a paper towel and then the first color I'm going to put on is black and then I'm going to dry that with, with a heat gun and then sand it back and then do uh, two different colors. I've got to decide what colors I want to choose because there's plenty to choose from. But uh, we will start with intrinsic black. Okay, that is now dry. And what I'm going to do now is cut that back with 320. Uh, this being water-based does raise the grain a little bit. So I'm going to cut that back with 320, remove some of the dye, and then I can move on to some more colors. Okay, so I've sanded this back to 320 grit, and I'm going to use a tack rag to remove any dust. I don't want to use alcohol because that will just smear the dye because it is a, a water-based dye and it will just take that color out, smear it, and that's not the effect I'm looking for. So that now, the dust is gone. So what I can do now is choose my second color, and I think I'm going to go with ruby red. Okay, and I'll sand this back to 320 again. Okay, so it has got four colors, black, flame, burnt orange, and ruby. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it. I've sanded it back to 320 grit, and now I'm gonna put some sanding sealer. Now this is shellac-based sanding sealer with alcohol in it. Uh, well, this is actually going to cut the dye a little bit and blend it just a little bit and then uh, we move on to the Yorkshire grit which is really going to make this shine just beautifully so it will blend and it will look kind of like tiger's eye I've seen it I've done it before and it looks fantastic it's taken some of the dye off which is to be expected because of the alcohol that's in the sanding sealer And that will be followed by Yorkshire Grit Microfine. And now it's ready for the finish. I'm going to put some Hampshire Sheen High Gloss and Microcrystalline Wax on this. Beautiful. Okay, and the last coat of my crystalline wax, which will just give it that hard wearing finish.
Okay, so that's the back side of the bowl done. It is uh, beautifully smooth. What I'm going to do now is turn it around and we'll hollow it out. And I'm going to go with the Food and Toy Safe uh, Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. And that's it. No colour, no nothing else. Um, and I think it'll be a nice little bowl.
So here I'm putting five minute epoxy onto the tube and I'm going to put that in an olive blank which will eventually become a magnifying glass. Give it a nice spin, make sure the glue's all over the tube and inside the wood. It's better to use the five minute epoxy than super glue. The super glue is brittle and it doesn't always coat the wood particularly well. Okay, so there's my olive blank with the tube glued in with the five minute epoxy and the ends have been milled with the drill. And I'll put that on the bushings. This is the uh, 97A bushing for the magnifying glass, the budget kit that I got from William Woodwright. Put that in there nice and tight. Tighten the quill down. I'll be turning this at the maximum speed. Because I turned this at the highest speed possible, it enabled me to get a really nice smooth cut. The slower you turn a piece, the harder it is to get a good smooth cut. But as you bring the speed up to the maximum that you can with the piece that you're working on, you get a much smoother cut. So I'm going to start sanding this at 220 and 320 and then finish it. Now go with the grain. 320 grit And thanks for watching. I really put this lathe through its paces. Some really hard wood, off center turning, bigger pieces of wood with the bowl blank and, and everything else. It really surprised me um, at what it was capable of doing. So uh, if you want to get into wood turning, this is a great opportunity to get yourself a brand new lathe for free. Um, June 1st is the deadline for this giveaway. So if you want this lathe and you don't have a lathe right now and you, you want to get into wood turning, like, share, subscribe, and then put in the comments down below, I want to become a new wood turner. And by June 1st, everybody will have a number in the comments, and then there'll be a live video where I pick a random number, and then I will then need your address, and it will be sent to you. Thanks for watching. Take care now.